As much as your body language shows your mood, so does your home. Your smile welcomes visitors and makes everyone feel important and special. For feng shui, your front door corresponds to your mouth. This is where qi enters. When your smile shows healthy white teeth, people will enjoy looking at you. Similarly, a manicured front door will greet your visitors. It will allow opportunities to appear in your life, but more importantly, it will welcome you back home. How do you feel approaching a broken gate, flaking paintwork, an untidy garden? Well, the impression is of something run down in, or neglected and definitely not harmonious. If this is your home, it's the reflection of yourself and the attitudes and beliefs that you might have had in the past or are still living today. Your front door is the mouth of your building and the windows are its eyes. When meeting someone, our mind goes through a quick analysis to evaluate and categorize a new person. Whatever our minds decide about the person at that moment can stick with us for a very long time and influence how we behave with our interactions. A similar process occurs when viewing our homes. We never get a second chance to give a first impression. The main entrance. While I often visit rental properties where tenants cannot invest in any new landscaping, once inside the front door, there is a second chance to set the tone of your home. Use the five primary aspects to create a harmonious entrance. Light, space, texture, noise and smell. Let's start with the light. Dark hallways and entrances are interpreted as dangerous, blocked and unwelcoming to our subconscious mind. A natural light or artificial bright light in the entrance will create a sense of warmth and being inviting. The idea is to encourage the image of elegance, energy and quality to greet you as you enter. As a tip, to welcome new opportunities in your life, clean your front door and windows regularly. Space. If your entrance is small and narrow, it creates the idea of restriction, constriction and limitation. The same applies if your front door leads straight onto a wall. Avoid hanging a mirror in front of your door as it reflects the all entering chi straight out. Remove all unnecessary pieces of furniture. A space will seem larger if decorated in light and plain colors. As a tip, decorate your entrance with a peaceful landscape or with water scenery. Texture. Today's fashion of flat surfaces, tiled floors and plain plastered wall can look very elegant but may also feel a little cold. Find the balance, adding some curtains, rug and art pieces to create the image you want to project of yourself. As a tip, avoid too many straight lines, encourage curves or hang a delicate and tasteful mobile. Noise, when living in a busy street, it would be good to invest in double glass windows, as well as creating a sound barrier to lessen the noise. As a tip, Play baroque music and relaxing music inside your home to balance your inner vibration. Smell. Well, last but not least, our strongest response to a place comes from the sense of smell. Is the smell in your home pleasant and fresh? Does it create a feeling of peace? Then the smell of mold, if the smell of mold is prominent, it is essential to fix a problem rather than using incense or oil to cover it up. As a tip, in a healthy building, use chamomile or lavender essential oils to give an impression of serenity and balance. Use lemon, lemongrass or rosemary oil for freshness, motivation, energy and drive. It is essential to take care and function in your entry first. It determines the quality of the entering chi. As a matter of fact, we women put lipstick on while men shave carefully before the first date. Any of the changes that you make to improve your entry can enhance your life immediately. Thank you very much for listening. My name is Roslyn Deleu. I'm an international feng shui master and best-selling author. Please visit my website fengshuisteps.com and I will see you next time. Thank you.